Hey guys, how's it going? All right, uh, I just want to give you guys um, a little story about what happened to my car uh, a couple of days ago. So basically what happened was uh, the car was driving fine all day without any kind of issue. Uh, and um, I went to uh, Walmart, parked it there, uh, went, went, got something, came back, and uh, out of nowhere, it wouldn't crank. So no crank, no start issue that I had. So basically, um, everything on the dash worked fine. Uh, everything in the car worked fine. There was absolutely no issues at all. The remote worked fine, was able to get into the car. Uh, radio was blasting. Radio was on everything. All right, so basically I was thinking to myself, probably the uh, battery was the issue. So what I did was I turned on the headlights, went out and checked out the beam just to give a just to give me a gauge on how bright the uh the headlights were. I could probably determine uh whether the battery was uh good or not. And uh the headlights were really bright. So Right off the bat, I was thinking if they were that bright, I should at least get like a really slow crank if the battery was kind of low. Regardless, um, I, I had to um, uh, check out where the battery was. I went and checked out where the battery was just to make sure that all the terminals were were clean and, and they were tight. And um, I noticed that the terminals were... A little bit corroded there was some white bluish stuff on there so what I did was I took out a bottle of coke poured it on the terminals and uh, was trying to clean it with some paper towels and I uh, was able to clean it pretty good now the terminals weren't uh, super super tight uh, I was able to wiggle it out, but they were snug in there, so I knew that it wasn't probably wasn't the terminal being loose that was causing the issue. And then after I cleaned it up, popped it back on, and uh, tried to start the car, it, it did the same thing. It wouldn't crank, it wouldn't start, uh, but everything else seemed to be working all right. So at that point, I was thinking to myself, all right, maybe it could be a weak ground wire. If you guys don't know what the uh, uh, where the ground wire is, the ground the main ground wire is pr pretty much the negative terminal, and, and most of the time it connects to the frame of your car. So I I, I checked it just to make sure there's no corrosion, it would, that it wasn't split or anything like that. There was no issues with it. So uh, what I did after that was, um, I had a. Uh, a, a battery pack that I bought a couple of uh, months ago because I had the same situation where I swapped out the battery. Um, I was hoping that it was the battery, even though I swapped it out. Considering you know, I, you know, I could actually just swap it out, uh, you know, at Walmart. So I actually put the battery pack on there. Uh, it was at a hundred percent. Try to start it and uh, still wouldn't start. So at that point, I knew it was probably not the battery. And even though, um, you know, I didn't think it was the alternator, I could probably just at that point rule out the alternator because uh, if it was the alternator, the car would have at least cranked the slow cranked or I would have been able to start it. And then once I took, you know, once I took the battery pack off, it would have just died out. <clears throat> So at that point, I was able to rule out uh, a bunch of stuff. I was able to do, rule out the um, the battery, the ground cable, and the alternator, even though that probably wouldn't have caused the issue. So after going through that, I was thinking to myself, could it be something, uh, you know, could be could, could it be the car's computer ECU? Because um, I did see a check engine light on my dash, and that check engine light was there. Uh, it's been there for a while, and uh, I believe it was for a a uh, O2 sensor issue. Now, um, I I did have an OBD2 that I bought from Walmart, and uh, it was a nineteen dollar uh, OBD2, one of the cheap ones, and and uh, I pretty much hooked it on to the to to my obd port and uh try to make sure that uh, i was actually getting a connection between the car's computer and the car itself um, it did scan all the way through now i'm pretty sure that 
that the OBD2 wouldn't actually pick up anything that would cause a no crank, no start situation for the most part, uh, except if if uh, if the uh, OB, if the car's ECU, the car's computer was, uh, you know, for for some reason uh, separated from the car what reason can communicate with the car but um anyway regardless i actually plugged it in it scanned all the way through uh only code that popped up was the um ox o2 sensor code and at that point um i was pretty sure that it you know it, it wasn't anything to do with the car's computer any codes that that would cause it and uh and uh, i actually had to move on to 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 uh, I had to move on to uh, to some other other troubleshooting outside of of, of that because um, you know that wasn't causing the issue. So basically, um, I got to uh, a couple of things, which were the fuses and the relays, uh, which were you know which were were, were highly capable of causing uh, a situation like this. And uh, got to the fuses, checked out all the fuses uh, just to make sure that none of them were blown. And uh, I was actually looking at them. Now, I didn't have a uh, fuse test tester on me. I didn't think it was the fuses. Now, um, the two situations that I've had where fuse would cause a, situ- a situation like that. Uh, one of those situations was uh, a Honda that I had where the main fuse blew. And I was getting no power throughout the whole entire car. Uh, the main fuse was the fuse that connected the battery to the fuse box itself. Uh, and uh, that was the previous situation that I have. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure... That's not the, That wasn't the same situation that I had, so I could rule that out because I, I was getting power to everything except it wouldn't start. Now, the other situation I had uh, pertaining to a fuse that, that, that caused a no-start no situation was actually a crank no-start situation. And I think one of the fuses actually blew. Then that fuse was connected to the ECU or, um, or, the, or the fuel pump. And uh, I remember once I changed out that fuse, uh, you know, the car would crank, but it wouldn't stop. Once I changed out that fuse, it was able to to start up. So I could rule out uh, those two situations as being, uh, you know, c- you know, c- related to a fuse issue that would, c- would that would cause the, you know, this th- this situation that I had. So, <clears throat> so basically, um, I could rule those things, uh, the fuses out, and uh, the fuses were were pretty clean um i didn't smell any kind of uh uh burnt smell and uh didn't see any kind of brownish uh anything brownish uh an ap- brownish appearance on top so um <clears throat> at that point i i was able to kind of rule out the fuses not at 100% but i was able to uh rule out the fuses for the most part so basically at that point, I had a situation where I was, I was maybe, um, it could have been the uh, the relays or the starter. That's what the the two situations that came up. But um, I didn't think it was the starter because um, I did uh, switch out the starter about. I would say I switched out the starter about a year and a half ago, and uh, that was you know it, it it seemed like it was a starter issue, but. But I, I didn't really want it to be a starter issue considering uh, yeah, I only put uh, maybe like 20,000 miles on on my car. And uh, I think they should last a lot longer than that. But anyway, <clears throat> before I even went there, uh, I looked at the the relays, um, you know, just to see whether, whether uh, they had issues or not. Now, I, I couldn't make out whether the relays had issues, but I did get to the starter relay. I pulled it out. Um, it looked like it was a bit uh, dirty or whatever, but um, I had some rubbing alcohol, uh, put it on some paper towel and, and wiped the, 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 um, the, the connectors, put it back in, try to start it. Um, it really didn't do anything. Uh, didn't, didn't, didn't change up the situation. So I was thinking it was a weird situation because it, w- it would click every time I would 
I would, uh, you know, try to try to start the car. It would click, but it wouldn't. It wouldn't uh, crank. It wouldn't crank at all. Um, normally, when it clicks, you know, it, it normally means that the uh, that the relay is working because that's what the relays do when there's uh, electricity going through that it clicks to connect the connection, you know, to to whatever it's 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 relaying the electricity to. But regardless. Regardless of that, um, I actually had another relay that I was able to swap out with that, and uh, I actually was looking for another relay with the same, you know, you know, with a, a similar relay in the box, and uh, I, I was actually to, able to find one. And what I did was I took the uh, that relay out, and I, I swapped it with that re with with, uh, with the other relay, and I went back and tried to start it. And guess what? Bam! It started up. It started up. It worked without a problem, and at that point, <clears throat> I knew that it was the relay that was the problem. All right, so it was it was a pretty easy fix. I went drove drove to AutoZone, which was uh, within that whole shopping center. Um, you know, swapped out the relay, and and that was like three days ago. Haven't had a situation since. I've been driving the car, uh, turning it on off. Uh, you know, for three days, haven't had that situation. Uh, at all so um just want to give you guys uh you know just to give you guys that story of, 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 the, of a quick fix that i had of my car uh if you guys are in the same situation you guys watching this video um you know hopefully you guys have an easy uh, as an easy of a fix as i had uh, on my car you guys have a comment uh, leave your comment in the comment section um please give me a thumbs up please subscribe um and uh like I said, if you guys are in the same situation, just go through the, the steps that I went through as far as trying to figure out, uh, you know, the situation with my car. And, uh, you know, you guys should be good as trying as far as, uh, you know, troubleshooting and diagnosing uh, your particular problem. Take care, guys.